Hello, how are you guys doing? I am so sorry for my absence. I have not been feeling well, but now I do. I'm feeling better, feeling stronger. Um, please forgive the absence. We're going to read for Taurus. I need some energy cards right off the bat, though. Now that I'm feeling better, if you would like a personal reading, I am now open and able to take more readings. I'm getting messages already, guys. Yeah. Here, yeah, hold on. Reset to your candle. Okay. <laughs> A lot of emotions here. Attractions. Okay. Keep it going. The science of union. So it's open. Anything else? Okay. Anything else? Taurus. Taurus. Where I saw that. More time. See if it comes back to me. Yep. Where are you? Yep, here you are. Surprise. Surprise connection. Okay. That is a good place to start. Let's put this together. The storyboard. Then we'll have our tarot reading. There's a new connection coming. This connection is eternal and unbreakable. Those of you who feel like they have connected with their soulmates or even their twin flame, there is a surprise coming. You may be about to be surprised. You may be about to be surprised. Um, what is that surprise? <laughs> well, it's, if I tell you, it won't be a surprise. Look for signs, though. 11, 11, 12, 12, 7, 7, 7. Um, this is especially an important number for Twin Flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. So look for signs. Be open. I know <clears throat> there's an energy card from the Romantic Angel says, uh, be positive. Have optimism about your romance. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. Be open. Um, yeah, I saw in your the pre-shuffle to this reading, Four of Cups in Reverse. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about being receptive to this union. This is a union of, of the divine soul counterparts. So this is a theme to you. Counterparts, 1111, important number for Twin Flame and counterparts. It's a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. So look at surprise and 1111. Look for, here you go again, look for signs. Watch out for signs leading you to true love. Clarity. These signs are going to give you clarity. Take time to think about your situation to gain clarity. Your emotions are going to be your, um, as you, what do you see? The rudder in a boat. Your emotions are going to steer you. Thank you. Steer you in the right direction. Look deep within your emotions. When you feel lost and you need that clarity, your emotions. Think of the nine of pentacles using all of the resources and Nine of Pentacles is also very attractive. I can't look at divine soul counterpart attraction transcends superficiality. So this counterpart is a theme. Cupid, this is very much like the six of wands with those flying through the air Cupid arrows. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. So look for those signs. Rekindle, this is someone who, this might be, I should say, someone, six of cups, um, I saw during your pre-shuffle as well, someone from your past coming forward again. Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled at the correct time. Be receptive, again, be receptive to the surprise, to this connection. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Be receptive. Soul, I want you to look deep into this card. Your soul is preparing to reconnect trust in the process. Your soul is preparing. 
This is a beautiful energy. Let's go into your reading. Look for signs. Be open. Look for that surprise connection. Okay. For Taurus. Again, we are already shuffled, but we're going to shuffle some more for Taurus. This is a single deck. Taurus. I do reversals. Don't let reversals bum you out or make you afraid. They just give you the energy. It says pay attention. Like uh pay attention. Not a warning so much as it is a, um, a plea, a plea for you to pay attention to the signs for Taurus, please, mind, body, spirit. Come through, Taurus. Five of Swords in reverse, your first card out. The first card out, Five of Swords in reverse. Someone is no longer playing games to the Ten of Pentacles. That is your fortune. And this is the Ace of Pentacles from heaven above. Talking about looking for signs, being open, being receptive to success. Let's go make sure that we don't have too much glare here. These, these cards have a little bit of glare. Is that better? A little bit of glare to them. Then we have Seven of Pentacles underneath the Five of Swords. This is someone who is wondering if the investment is worth it. In the middle of your reading, we have, someone has a, a new idea. I've, I've got a new idea. We're gonna clarify, Five of Pentacles in reverse. To, there he is, King of Pentacles, someone you can count on. To the Eight of Pentacles, someone's hard at work, making it happen. To the Ace of Cups, love overflowing. At the bottom of the deck, the energy card is community. Community of love. Surrounded by positive people. Surrounded by people who support your endeavors. For Taurus, let's clarify, please. Interesting card starting up. Five of Swords in reverse. Someone has stopped playing games. Please clarify for us, beginning with uh, Five of Swords in reverse to Four of Swords above. So <clears throat> you're being asked to keep track of your health, to take care of yourself, and be proactive we have the queen of pentacles okay someone has been disruptive in the home area someone has um <clears throat> they were playing games but now they they're going to regret it someone is going to regret playing games with you taurus someone already regrets playing games with you because you're not bothered this is how not bothered you are this is not bothered at all. So whatever they set out to try to do, it didn't phase you. And now they're regretting. They're regretting the loss of your, what is the word, respect. They're regretting the loss of your respect, admiration. Let's go further. Ten of Pentacles, you are... You're seeking your fortune. It's going to take a lot of strength. Leo, Lion, to the King of Swords. Yep, the truth will set you free. Just as a lie is a prison, the truth is the key to prosperity, to being open to your own strength, and being able to walk away from something that was before someone who was playing games with you. Someone who was manipulating your heart strings and your mind boy are they regretting it now though from heaven above yeah you might be looking at finding a new place to to live go ahead and take that leap of faith go ahead you are ready and this again 
a truth is going to come out that you weren't you weren't suspecting you were not suspecting these truths to come out there we go. what are these truths okay <laughs> You're stepping into your power as an attractive and available person. Someone is thinking about all the time they wasted trying to get to you, but you are Taurus energy. You are the Hierophant. You're not letting anyone bother you. Yep, yep, there they are again. Seven of Swords in reverse. Trying to get away with something. They were trying to take something that wasn't theirs. You stopped them in their tracks. Now we have a choice to make. What's the choice? Okay. There is some backsliding. It's like two steps forward, one step back. So this is someone who has, um, someone from your past who has still, um, I don't want to say, they, they know how to, to make you feel emotional, over emotional. You're going to get a different idea though. Second ch uh, chances. Yeah, devil in reverse, Capricorn energy in reverse. You're going to get help. You're not seeing, you're gonna, you're not gonna see this is gonna come out from out of the blue. Capricorn energy in reverse. Everything that this person has tried to keep away from you has tried to hide from you is someone's going to let the cat out of the bag. All this time that you have felt left out of this connection, you have felt maybe even like a, a third wheel, it's going to end and then 10 of cups energy. You're gonna be stepping into a very happy time. But look at all this that you've had to go through already to get to that happy time. And it's gonna take a lot of introspection. Virgo energy of the hermit. No more sleepless nights of worry. The sun is coming out. Thank goodness. But look at everything that you've had to go through. Look at everything that you've had to live through to get to this point. It is not easy. You've had to go through a lot, but it didn't break you. Ten of, well, King of Pentacles, this is the ability to have your own resources and to have your own say in where that money is going to go. No more chaotic fighting about it. It's take patience and also options you're going to have options from work and yeah the empress brings all good things to life so those of you who have been working on your own project your own company something that you always wanted to have of your own and yet people have always tried to step on your ideas no longer everything's going to come to fruition. There you are, Nine of Pentacles. Talk about being attractive. Page of Cups. Two, no longer defending. No longer in the defensive posture. Using all that resource, all the resources around you. This is like a, a some kind of a loving message is going to come through. I talk about someone from the past. And this, this type of uh, connection is evergreen. Cupid, Eight of Wands. Someone wants to communicate with you big time. Yeah, here they are, Knight of Wands. It's a fiery message of love and King of Cups. There you go. So I'm talking about someone who has the ability, they have a mastery of their emotions. So we begin with the King of Pentacles and end on this line with the King of Cups. We have someone you can count on who has safety, security, sustainability, and someone who is emotionally stable. Thank goodness. They are someone you've dreamt about. 
the Aquarian card of the star. Hopes, wishes, and dreams. I know you've been stuck kind of in, up in your head with worry. This person is very attractive. King of Wands. Four of, of Cups. This is what we spoke about with the energy cards. Someone no longer is thinking, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. It's coming to fruition. What you want is going to come through, and it's worth waiting for. What is it? Gemini energy of the lovers. Well, nine of Wands. You've been here waiting for a long time, but your soulmate's coming through. Don't doubt it. It's your wish fulfillment. Yeah, I know it's taken a long time, Knight of Pentacles. And you have lived through heartache. Things have not been fair, but they're going to be fair now because this Knight in Shining Armor is coming through. It's all coming through. I do see that you are going to get a little help, though, especially when it comes to this communication. It's almost like this person is relying or counting on someone to help get their message to you. Look at all that you've lived through. But don't doubt it. This is going to turn out beautifully. Whew, Taurus. It's amazing. How about um, a message? Would you like a message? Let's see. Okay. Message for Taurus. It's been through a lot. I'm going to come out with these three. Oh, actually, four. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Trust and believe. Flirtation. We have that Nine of Pentacles. She's very flirtatious. You know why? They know they look good. Extend your lighthearted energy to the person that you are calling for. Call on your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and visualization help bring you together. So you're talking about this has been a long time in the waiting. Don't forget we have lovers and soulmates right next to each other and again with the flirt. So get out of your humdrum. Get out of the worrying. Remember we have the Eight of Swords in reverse over here. Stop worrying. Everything is going to come out perfectly for you and your person look at that Taurus thank you please take good care of yourselves and we'll talk to you soon okay bye bye now